Let's look at the new date only and time only types in C Sharp 10. Now, for most of my training, I work to give you an in-depth perspective on technology, but sometimes you just need to get the quick answer to the question, how do I use this? That's why I created the 10 minute training series. So let's dive right into the code. Here I have a console app, it's a .NET 6 console app. We'll get rid of the boilerplate code and start from scratch. So you're probably familiar with the date time object where we'd say date time, um, and we'll call this um, date time equals uh, date time dot now. Okay, that's probably familiar with you and familiar to you. And if you just say uh, date time, then you'll get a a full date and time. So you see that it's 10, 18, 20, 21. 11.43.01 p.m. So that's the date and time. And up until C Sharp 10, that's the only option we had for working with dates and times. So if we wanted to have just a date or just a time, we had to use a date time object and just ignore half of it, either ignore the time or ignore the date. Now we have new objects. We have date only, we'll call this uh, date only, and we can, and I'll just create that like that for now. We'll also have time only, and again, we'll create this with time only. So these separate out the date time object into two different objects. We don't have to have both, we can have just one. So you have just a date or just a time. Now. We could populate this with um, any date and time, but I'm going to create just the date from today and then just the time. So we'll say um, equals, and we'll say date only dot from date time, date time dot now. Okay, and we'll do the same thing. Uh, but the time only, so we will say, we'll copy this and say equals time only dot from date time, date time dot now. So we're gonna split apart date time into just the date and just the time, just to get us a, a sample to work with. All right, so if we were to say date only, and then let's do another console right line that says time only, they run this, we'll see on two different lines, the first line is just the date and the second line is just the time. So we've now separated them into two different objects. Now we can work with these in independently. So we don't have to have a time, we can just work with a date. And with that date, uh, we'll see, actually let's put it right on the end here. We'll see, we can say, hey, what's just the month of this date or let's add days to this. Let's add months or years. And we can compare to, we can grab the day number and that's the day since January 1st, the year one, which probably isn't terribly helpful for you, but day of the week might be. That will tell you, whoops, uh, what day of the week it will be. Let's get rid of that. And you can also say day of the year. What is the day of this? What day is this of this year? But then we can also look and see we have other options as well. We have to long date string, short date string. We can format this and so on. So this is just the date portion of our object. Now, another benefit here of doing just date only is the fact that it will not then have any weird rollovers where may, I'm in a central time zone. So if I create a date time with at midnight for uh, today's date and you view it in a different time zone, it may actually be a different date because it rolled over to the next day or the previous day and that would be problematic. So with date only, it, it doesn't have any time zone information. It's not representing a full date time object. It's just the date. Same thing with time. So with time, we have some things to look at the ticks, the minutes, the seconds, uh, hours, and so on. But notice there's nothing in here about time zone. 
because this is just time. This is not know about what time zone it's in, it's just representing the time. This might be something like uh, we we're saying we open at 9 a.m. and close at 5 p.m. That would be two time only objects. You wouldn't have to worry about the time zones there. If you need to write time zones for that time, you probably need a date time because there's some intricacies there that need to have the full date time object to know more about what the date is. Okay. So with that, that's date only, that's time only. One of the questions that will come up is why didn't they call it date and time instead of date only and time only? And part of this has to do with the fact that um, if we use just date, that would step on the toes of VB, which already has a date object, but also in the date time object, there is a to date, and that's not going to be um, a date only object. That's going to be a date time object with just the date portion. Um, so that would cause some confusion with people. So instead of causing confusion, this now brings some clarity. This is only the date or only the time. So that's the new date only object and the time only object in C sharp 10. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments. Do you like this? Do you not like this? Uh, how much do you think you're going to use this? For me personally, I was quite relieved. I love this feature because there have been sometimes, not every time, but a lot of times where I found myself saying, man, I just need the date. I just need uh, usually the date, not the time as much, but I just needed that that date and not have to have, I didn't want to have all that extra time on the end that could cause those weird rollovers. So personally, I like it, but I want to know what your thoughts are down in the comments. Also, if you want the source code, go ahead and use the link in the description to download it. Thanks for watching. And as always, I am Tim Corey.